Uh, but it says, uh, can counteract the destabilizing effects of regular matter trying to pass through the wormhole, making it traversable. Uh, so if you put negative mass in with this, or, or probably more specifically ne negative gravity, but, uh, but that might just be in terms of black holes. If you, if you involve some type of negative force to counteract the devastating forces of the wormhole or the black hole, then yeah, it could be traversable. Uh, there, there have been theories put out that uh, the the rotation again. Remember, a black hole is a sphere. A black hole isn't just like a two dimensional hole that's just there. It, it it is a sphere, and it does have a spin. It does have a rotation. There's there are ideas that if the rotation was strong enough, if the centrifugal force was strong enough in that rotation, it would counteract the extreme gravity, and then you could traverse the black hole or the wormhole, uh, depending what you're, you're talking about, uh, you know, with that. But uh, so there are already ideas about this, um, and that that that's not the same as negative gravity. That that's just a different type of force. Centrifugal force is just a different type of force that can counteract gravity. That's why the moon is where it is uh, in orbit. That's why it doesn't come crashing into the Earth, but it doesn't go flying out into space either. It's what's called equilibrium. You know, the, the centrifugal force is uh, pushing the moon out, but the gravity from the Earth and the moon are, are pulling, pulling it in. Uh, and it reaches a point of equilibrium where the, the, due to the distance, the, the, force, uh, the centrifugal force is equal to the gravitational force. So that, that's why it is where it is. That's that's how everything in the universe that orbits, that's how it works. Matter with negative mass doesn't exist, so we need a new plan. Again, I don't know if this is accurate. It, it seems like a while ago I did a story on uh, a, a, a team that did create uh, a negative mass fluid in the lab. I might be wrong on that, so I, I'll, have to, I'll, I'll have to look into that uh, again. But it says, uh, so let's start with the wormhole itself. We need an entrance and an exit. It's theoretically possible to connect a black hole, a region of space where nothing can escape, to a white hole, a theoretical region of space where nothing can enter. When these two odd creatures join together, they form a brand new thing, a wormhole. So you can jump into either end of this tunnel, and instead of getting crushed into oblivion, you just harmlessly uh, waltz out the other side. Uh, but white holes don't exist either. Man, this is getting tricky. See, they... they, they, they Again, this is this is a publication that does try to kind of dumb things down for average readers, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's not accurate to say white holes don't exist. We don't know if they exist. Um, the mathematics that say black holes exist, they work for white holes too, and we know black holes exist. We've detected them. We even took a very blurry picture of one of them. Uh, we know black holes exist. That's 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 been proven. Uh, the mathematics that predicted black holes also predict white holes. We have an observed one. We, we, we have nothing beyond the mathematics to, to suggest it, but there is evidence that it could exist. Doesn't mean it does. Uh, as far as we know, they don't, but as far as we know, they don't. They, very, they still very well could. They are possible.